<laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Today we have a special episode for you. Today I am here with my longtime friend, Mr. Pickles. Say hi, Mr. Pickles. Okay, he's not here at the moment, but he will be soon. Now, Mr. Pickles is one beautiful specimen. Outfitted with the best gear in, in Space Engineers, rainbow gloves, intricate armor, a gold helmet. This engineer was the best of the best. I am Space <laughs> Engineer. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so today, me? me and Mr. Pickles will be designing our very own AT8. Oh, I can't say that. Um. All terrain personal walking walker. fortress. Walking fortress. Our own, very own walking fortress. Okay, I I am I am back. All right. With another Minecraft. <laughs> oh yeah, would you like to plug your channel, Mr. Pickles? No, I don't no. even. No. I don't even make videos anymore. Why don't you make videos, Mr. Pickles? I'm kind of lazy. All right, so um, I have no idea how to start this or. How to build this? Um, how to build walkers? Well, I don't, I don't know how to build a walker. Well, I, I have an idea, but um, they were actually uh, quite uh, simple to make. Yeah. Um, and and there's a lot of different ways you can make walkers. Well, we're going to try and make the uh, walking fortress based off of the classic Star Wars walker, the AT-AT. So. Uh, I already have made one, but it's quite small, um, and we want to make something bigger. So yeah, we're gonna upscale. Would you like me to um, paste it in so you can you can have something to reference off of? Oh uh, no no let's let's go like uh, we'll just like start from scratch like. Okay, how how do you want how do you want to do this? I I normally build these in space, because that's easy. But oh we're, actually we're giving ourselves the challenge here. <laughs> and that's okay. I like challenge. Actually, so uh, well, well, maybe okay. Maybe we should build it in space, and then we'll just bring it down. Yeah, we can do that. Um, All right. Do you have a rocket ship? How do we get to space? Yo, we can spawn in some of my high fighters. Yeah, you may recognize these from one of the videos I used. I actually used one of your ships, Mr. Pickles, to uh, uh I've seen it. To, uh, to uh, as target practice. So these yeah, are actually probably. really, really nice fighters. So Let's, yeah. Um, let us fly into okay. space. Yeah, let's fly into space. Wait, where are you? Oh, oh my. You're way ahead of me. Yeah, I got a head start. Alrighty. Um, are, you... are we out of gravity? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. We've been out. Oh, we've, been, we've out. been out for a while? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Right. Pickles, we're out in space. Here we are. We're going to oh, start with... Uh, uh, I guess a base of yeah. the the walker. So we're going to uh, design the legs, design somewhat of a body and a head all at once, or are we just going to focus on the legs? So what I like to start with, we can do it multiple ways. But what I like to do it is I start with uh, since it's four legged, I'm gonna we're gonna start with the front, the front. Uh, what, what what would you call it? Like the, I'm uh, just the, gonna say hips, the front the front part. Okay, so chassis. like, uh, yeah, we're front. gonna, yeah, okay, the chassis of right. the walker. Yeah, so we're gonna do, do the front, and we're gonna put the ro rotors, and then it's gonna go down to pistons, and then to hinges. So the pistons are gonna be the legs, and the hinges are gonna be where the feet are. Uh, okay. And uh, that's how it's gonna be. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna bend at the knee. Well, we could well, do a bend at the knee. We it's could. Just, it's just gonna be more work. The ideal with uh, making legs, you can only have it at two different points. Really, you you can have it basically standing, right, and yeah. then you reverse it, and then it pushes, right. Yeah. Um. I I find I have a struggle of making walkers that do a pulling thing, so you can't really make it step forward, but you can make it. Um lift up and push out i don't know if that makes sense well yeah but, you have to um 
Yeah, with the way Space Engineers works, it's hard to make a walker that actually walks. You have to like, you can only make it like really lift off the ground and then, well, like with your other design, it had two hydrogen thrusters to kind of propel it forward a little bit to give it a little more yes. speed. But but it didn't really need that. That was only for to go up hills. Oh, um, okay, yeah, for extra. So food. the entire thing could not use without thrusters, but um. What I found, I tried it doing it with a pulling method, and for the most part, it it worked. But the thing is, is that it will trip over itself because it'll it'll try to push a leg forward, but then if there's a hill, it will hit the hill, and then it will topple over itself. All right. So it's more harder to stabilize that way. We'll test that out and show that in uh, after we've yeah. completed this, but. Uh... For now, let's uh, start with this chassis and the legs, and uh, uh, we'll be back right after uh, this time lapse. All right, so this is what we have so far. Um, we've yeah. got the chassis of the walker done. And we've got each leg that I uh, that we've designed. Um, 
It yeah, so we, we originally were going to go with the at, -AT design, but uh, once we started building it, we thought, you know, it'd be really cool if we made um, something like like the ATTE from Star Wars, where it has like six legs. Um, the two center legs are like thicker, and then the uh, outside legs are a little thinner. And uh, I, I have to say, Mr. Pickles, I think we've outdone ourselves. I think this looks yeah. great. And uh, honestly, I'm glad with the the, the, the um, I'm glad with the decision that we made because now with six legs instead of four legs, it's fully stable. And as well, it always is contact with the ground. So it's less wobbly uh, compared to four legs. Um, yeah. So it's uh, the walker is basically almost guaranteed to be more stable uh, at, at any point of movement. So because yeah. there's three points of contact on the ground rather than having two. So uh, yeah. yeah. I, uh, so, <laughs> I, I actually like it. So let's let's uh, give it a test drive to uh, show them how it walks. So once you have the pistons in the right uh, position, uh, the walker will start moving in the way that you want it to. Yeah. Uh, we still haven't figured out what exactly is forward and back, like how to set it up correctly. Because right now you're going backwards. Yeah. So normally I, I, I always forget. Always forget. Wait, just, re uh, just do, um, just reverse it right now. Okay, I did. Like, start the timer. There we go. There we go. Oh. Okay, so I think uh, depending depending on the orientation of the legs. Yeah, it's it's the orientation of the leg and the piston um, offset will make it go backwards or forwards. And as you can see, it, it's moving very nicely. And it's quite smooth, I, I would say. Yeah, in, ter in terms of uh, walkers go, I think the walker moves pretty smoothly. Um, uh, it does bounce and hop a little bit. That's most likely due to the wheels. And the weight. With, yeah, the wheels and the weight. All right, so with the walker, we're just going to try and take it off-roading on this uh, rougher ground here, just to see how well it uh, uh, handles. Yeah, it handles on a rougher terrain. I honestly think it's going to be fine. Oh fuck! Oh, oh. oh no! No! <laughs> oh. Right. oh my god! Oh, epic fail! Holy crap! Blew off all the lights and everything. All right, that's so, awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, so uh, clearly, off-road capability—it's uh, not too good. And because the reactor was on the outside. It just blew up in the coolest way possible. So, uh, obviously, something we have to fix. Um, uh, I honestly think thrusters will help stabilize it more. It's just that it's nice that it doesn't need thrusters to move on flat ground. It might need it for more off roading just to help stabilize it. Maybe a little bit more gyro. And, um, and maybe if I change the timer speed just a, a little bit faster so that I can actually continuously move quicker. Yeah, without having to like kind of be a jerky and uh, uh, like stop every so often. So, Well, that's all we have time for today. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider leaving a like. And if you're not subscribed already, please do so. This is part one of uh, many. I don't know if we'll finish it in the next episode or it may take a couple. You know, we want to tweak it, make sure we make it as perfect as possible. Uh, yeah, had a lot of fun making it. Thank you so much, and we'll Mr. Pickles. we'll post it on the Steam Workshop. Yes, we will post this on the Steam Workshop. This is uh, Mr. Pickles' creation. Um, with the help of Mr. Uh, with the help of me, Chonkers, your lord and savior. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for uh, watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. As always, stay chonky, stay healthy, stay creative. Chonkers and hey, Mr. Pickles, signing out. Signing out. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and please. Leave a comment in the comment section down below with you.
like this video, please like it. How am I supposed to get up now? What? Are you serious? Okay, let's just, let's just kind of make it like a little stair thing. Up. Like it either go. Okay, let's go. Let's go this way. Come on, run. Why aren't you running? I think I went this way. I don't even know what way I went. So much fire. Oh no. Oh no. 